I'm here today um, reading a book called Operation Mockingbird and the Church Committee, Learning Liberty, by Brett Pike, illustrated by Nasha Noor. Every morning on the farm, roosters wake up to the sound of kitten lost. They report it, a puppy born, and they record it. They report the morning news with a daily cock a doodle Charisma Cat lived to deceive, did, to deceive, did things most people would believe. The forest farms gold your soul. She wanted to have complete control. She did magic tricks with words, turned roosters into mockingbirds. <clears throat> Green Rooster did what he was told. For buckets filled with bee, hun bee honey, gold, when Black Rooster spoke, insults were hurled. In return, he would fly. He could fly all over the world. Blue Rooster took pallets of food in exchange for the truth. The truth is he would include. The roosters told outrageous lies, except for Red Rooster. He did what was right. <clears throat> Worried about the daily weather, look for Rooster's bright red feathers. Red Rooster lived to tell the news and loved to follow all the clues. Lately it felt there was a crime. It was a bear every time. Robberies, trespassing, violence, theft. The Great Bear Trail seemed like a mess. It was easy to see the bears weren't nice. One bear was caught stealing a bike. A weasel that happened to be strolling along saw a bear trespassing the private duck at the private duck pond. <coughs> Red Rooster thought it would only be fair to spend his time stalking the bears. <clears throat> Morning, evenings, day and night, the bears remained in his sight. He never thought he'd learn the truth from investigating Big Bear Sleuth. Sherlock Bear looked at his, looked at this, looked at that, and was always one step ahead of the cat. He knew what she was going to say he, and could spot a lie miles away. He pointed that she was evil. The devil's found in the detail. <clears throat> <clears throat> Handy Bear went to the pond this summer, but Green Rooster left out. He was there as a plumber. Repair Bear was an honest earner. He wasn't stole. He wasn't stolen. He was a bike returner. Black Rooster reported a bear attack. Turns out it was done by Charisma Cat. Red Rooster had a revelation. The farm needed an education. Whatever has going was going to happen, the rooster would reveal the trickster's patterns. Like Sherlock Bear, he followed the honey and learned where the cat got her money. He followed it just like a trail down the honey brick road to the rooster to the rooster tail. The roosters are wicked. How could it be? The roosters and roosters, but they're nothing like me. Red Rooster refused to succumb to self-pity. He called the farm to the church committee. He told a story of lies, bribes, and schemes. Some animals listened while others daydreamed. Green Rooster, Black Rooster, they all played a role. Each of these roosters sold their soul. Sherlock Bear explained a plot that went wider. Charisma Cat, the pigs, and a shadowy spider. News. Quack a doodle doo. Red Rooster had warned the roosters were rotten. For most animals, this the message was quickly forgotten. The roosters reported Red Rooster's a liar. 
The cat made sure Red Rooster wasn't fired. He could no longer be seen anywhere. Only one animal remembered, you guessed it, the bears. The bears that use their senses, ears, noses, and eyes, use their discernment to identify lies. As for Red Rooster, he's friend to the bears. He tells his stories with loved ones and with care morning and night. He sounds the alarm. Red Rooster lives life to wake up on the farm. And then at the end, there's like some little coloring pages. That you can color if you want. And some crayons. The end.